Hey, what's up, my wild mustaches, and welcome back to another gold making video. Today, we got a few raids actually to run and the farm too, as well. Now, that's it, guys. Let's get right into it. Hold up. All right, mustaches, and welcome back. First off, I want to say I do apologize for not having a video out for a week. There's a reason behind it, and that is because I was kind of sick, and I couldn't actually talk, and every time I talked, basically my voice would give out and so forth, so I couldn't do a great recording or a, you know understandable recording, even though you can't understand me half the time because I talk so fast. <laughs> but anyways, besides that, guys, I couldn't record at all. So that said, the sickness is gone, and also, too, my time is freeing up a lot more now, so be prepared for a lot more videos, even if it's something you know or not know. If you're new to my channel, I have a lot of gold making videos. Check that out in the description. Also, let's get right into that gold making. So, as you know, I actually do a lot of gold farming, okay? I do a lot of raids, dungeons, so forth, and I do a whole video of it showing you. Well, today is that video, okay? We got a few more videos coming out that are going to be different, but this is actually um, something that I like to do almost every uh, every time I put a video out because it's really fun and there's a lot of gold into this. Now, let's get right into it. So, basically, Molten Core. I did Molten Core run, and it took me 19 minutes to do a full run. This is not a farm run. This is just a full run. I got 9,652 auction house gold. The reason why I didn't count the raw gold is because, first off, there is no raw gold here, okay? The, the items are too low that they actually go for gold to vendoring. Maybe you'll get 100 to 200 at max, but still, 9,652 auction house gold is not bad. Just imagine if I was farming this place and this, you know, I got items from the mobs, which I actually did. Now, the thing is, whenever you farm, it's all about RNG, RNG, RNG. I always tell y'all guys this, and that's one thing. As a new player and as even an old player, you got to understand you're not always going to get exactly what I get or you're not always going to get exactly what you always get. So basically the farm I got was 4,984 auction house gold in a 30 minute run. Now see that was what Lady Luck gives us and we didn't get that much actually gold off of it because we didn't get those good drops. If I actually would have um, got good drops out of what I did a 19 minute run for the full run. I would have been amazed by that, but it's not really that amazing here. Now, if you get lucky to me, let me know in the comments below. That's the farm for today. Also, too, as well, we did Blackwing Layer, which took me about 16 minutes, and I got 5,758 auction house gold. Not bad at all. Now, that's it, guys. Um, these are old dungeons, okay? You do have a lot of chance of getting best, not best, but good transmog that go for a lot. These got these places like the Blackwing Lair. You could farm and actually farm it with a hunter or a mage or anybody who can actually lose aggro. Now that's for another video. We didn't cover that in this video, but we will cover that later on. Now also too as well, I did Serpent Shrine Cavern because I didn't feel like you know the farm from basically um, uh, the multi core was worthy. I didn't really feel like it. so I tried Serpent Shrine Cavern. Got 5,811 auction house gold in 30 minutes. This is trash. To be honest with you, I'm going to tell you, unless you really need stuff from Molten Core or Surface Signer, even Blackwing Layer. Blackwing Layer is actually really good if you can farm it because there's a lot of good stuff. But other than that, I mean, the, I looked at the auction house value of what I was getting. Plus, uh, you, you know, just you know, compared it to what the loot appraiser said. And it wasn't what it said it was. So you got to watch out for those items. I've some, uh, Most of the times, I actually, I go through and I check if the item's really that price. And most of the time it is. But stuff like the Blackwing Lair, when I was getting these little bars, there weren't no 400, 500 gold each. They were actually were only worth the 30 to 60 gold. So you got to watch out for that. Now, I would let y'all know if something like that happened. But anyways, if I look at this, just to look at this, just running these, these are not worth it, guys. These don't, don't waste your time with these. And the reason why you're like, but where's the, where can I make gold at then? What's gold? Well, there's tons of videos that I've showed you that are worth a lot of gold. Now, this the reason why I do these golds, fell or not fell, is because... This doesn't waste your time. And you might say, well, you wasted my time because you did a whole video of discussing about farms that I, you know are worth a crap. Well, that's the point. You spent three minutes, three to four minutes watching my video compared to 20 to 30 minutes that you can actually run these dungeons and find out for yourself. So if you actually basically uh, enjoy uh, people who actually show you stuff that you could either do or not do, let me know in the comments below. Actually subscribe if you're a new subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, um, that's great. But if you are, uh, congratulations, you are an uh, awesome person. Also, too, it's going to be gold. Gold is the keyword. But anyways, if you stay this far, guys, thank you so much. Uh, prepare for more videos. Yes, guys, it's not always going to be about making tons, tons of gold. As sometimes it's a fail. Sometimes I got to show you, hey, this is what this is what's basically what you're going to get out of these raids. And you know what? It's better than actually that 30-minute run that you could have like got back your time for compared to this. Now, that said, guys, like always, if you liked my video, please like, subscribe, comment, and stay stashy.